Do you also feel nervous in a match and do you feel like it really affects your performance? Well, <laughs> I know all about it. When I was younger, I used to feel so nervous before and especially in matches and it just sucks that you play worse because of your head. So today we'll talk about what you can do if and when you start to feel nervous so you can feel awesome instead and kick some ass. Now the first thing could be that if you're really good in training but somehow your brain just freezes in matches and you can't do anything, maybe it's a mental thing. Because you're the same player, you have the same legs, the same body, the same skills. But maybe the whole seriousness of the match just means that you're afraid to make mistakes. Because there is more at stake in a match and some matches are really important like cup finals and all that stuff. But you shouldn't worry about that right now. Instead, try to think of matches as trainings. Not training sessions, but this match can be training for the next match. Or the matches this season can be training for next season. So think of it as a match where you go to play and you'll learn. Every time you play, you'll learn something. If you can take that into a match, it's a great place to start. Of course, you still need to be tactically disciplined and work hard and don't take stupid risks in front of your goal. But you know what I mean. Another way to combat that stupid nervousness is to have a high level of confidence, especially in yourself. Because if you feel confident, you're more likely to play freely and thus probably better, but also less likely to let all those stupid mistakes get under your skin and start to make you nervous. So how do you feel confident then? Well, for starters, try to create a good vibe. Have some fun with your teammates. Say you come walking into the locker room, smiling, looking confident, head up, you get some nice music on, and you just make yourself feel good, feel awesome, boost that self-confidence. I guarantee you that you will also feel more confident when you walk onto the pitch. However, if that doesn't work completely in the match and you start to feel a bit nervous or doubt yourself after a couple of mistakes, do not show it to the opponent because they will, they will love it. They will lick their fingers and try and use it against you to get that mental upper hand. If they can make you feel less superior and like they control you, you've already lost. So instead, try to do everything you can to make it seem like you don't care. Everything they say, you don't care. Maybe you messed up three, four times, they took the ball every time. Nothing affects you, you know that you're an awesome player. That will be super frustrating for them to play against and it will be harder for them to shake you and make you nervous. And step number three in all this whole feel more confident thing is to take your negatives and turn them into positives for the rest of the match. Did you just lose two or three one-on-ones against the defender? Well, good. Now he or she will think that you suck and that next time will be easy. Did you screw up a lot in warm-up? All cool, you've gotten all of the mistakes out of your system. I know it sounds a little bit silly, but if you can take the negatives, turn them into positives for the rest of the match, just in your own head, it's a lot better than if you take those mistakes and start to beat yourself with them. Turn them into positives, make yourself feel better. And if that doesn't work either, and the nervousness and the self-doubt just starts creeping into your brain, you can use a method that I personally use myself. Now, this is completely self-made and there's no scientific evidence, but I call it the 3-3 system, meaning that if I make three stupid mistakes that I normally don't make, they shouldn't happen, I force myself to go for three easy wins. That means that I either focus on nailing the next three passes or winning the next three headers or just getting the next three first touches on point. I just need to find something that I know 100% that I can achieve to get that easy win. Now, of course, you shouldn't do this for longer than you need to to get the confidence back up. So when you feel good again, stop focusing on only surviving and start focusing on making a difference again. Because now you can do it, you feel good, three mistakes, Go back to the safe options. Three mistakes. That's all you have to do. But sometimes you're just having a stinker. And when that happens, there's only one thing you can do. That is to sit down, throw a tantrum, and to start crying. <laughs> of course not. That's basically the biggest no-go when you're playing a football match. Because nobody, listen to me, nobody, 
wants to play with a quitter. So if nothing works, you work. You work, you work, and you work even harder. If nothing works, you work. Now, instead of sulking and giving up, when you lose the ball, just start walking. You work hard. Because if you start sulking, you just give up, your teammates, A, won't care, or B, they will get really annoyed at you, and that downward spiral will just continue. But instead, even if you have a bad day, you just work harder than everyone else to compensate for not playing well, they will most likely respect you and might even come give you a supportive pat on the shoulder and make you feel a little bit better. So if nothing works, you work. So guys, do you see what I'm after here? I'm basically after ways of tricking your mind into forgetting the nervousness, forgetting the self-doubt, and instead focusing on the positive things. Football is a game, and you probably play it because you love it, so remember to have fun. Now, of course, also, if you're the type of player like me who feel a little extra confident from getting all the latest gear, you can go up and buy everything you need from the link to newsports.com right over there, or you can go and improve your football skills by watching the playlist right down there. And then finally, you can go and improve my confidence by making sure you subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And with those words, stay sharp, guys. I'll be signing off. Cheerio. Eh? Siempre positivo. Eh? <laughs> Nunca negativo. Okay. Gracias, Adiós. Luis. Adiós.